Hey, Pete Rams here, HVAC Greatness. So let's say that you're a young person and you're looking for direction. You want to have, yeah, you want to have a career one day, right? Listen, there's a lot of opportunities out there, in, but there's a disease right now of this you know, work from the internet and sit on the beach and get rich. Guys, this is just not realistic, not for most people, okay? There are people that are doing that, and I, I hate to say this, but most of which are doing so in a way that I would not consider ethical personally, right? If you're a parasite on the system, <laughs> that didn't sound too good, did it? But you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're doing something, you're producing something with your hands, there's a satisfaction that comes with that. You know, my industry is HVAC. Well, what does that stand for? HVAC is an acronym uh, that stands for, it should have been HACV, but it's heating, H, ventilation, this is the movement of air, and AC is air conditioning. And then you can add an R to that uh, in some instances, which is refrigeration, HVAC or HVACR, because uh, a lot of refrigeration experts also do heating and air conditioning. Anyway, it's a really good industry for people who want to work with their hands, right? You see, one of the challenges with uh, coming into maturity as, a, as an adult, and I know, you know we're all adults here, right? But when you really mature as an adult, sometimes you have to go through something difficult, a challenge. You know, have a journey. There's, there's a dynamic that exists, but success in life is directly proportional to the amount of resistance that you have to overcome in life. In other words, if it comes easy, it's it's not going to have any long-term value. Not really. Not really. You know the old saying, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger? This is more true than what most people realize. The harder we have to work through something, the more we come out the other other side uh, in terms of benefit. I mean, look at the gymnasium, right? You, you can't go in and take a pill and have the body of your dreams if you if that's what you want. You're going to have to get in and work. You're going to have to make the sacrifice to do, to, to have the diet, to, to have the supplements, to do the resistive training, to put your, push yourself beyond what you did last week. You know, that's manhood, guys. And, 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 and for you ladies, uh, you know, that's being an adult, that's being mature, that's pushing yourself through, and that's getting to the other side. But life on easy street uh, ends up in hard times. Let me get back to HVAC. Why HVAC? Well, number one, there are there's been so many of today's generation that have literally just they, they they've gone gaming. You know, they've gone computerized. They, they they can understand Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and all that stuff, but they can't they can't wear a toaster. And it's not that hard. <laughs> but 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 listen to me on this. I, I remember. Uh, as a young HVAC technician working with an electrician. And the electrician came out of the job. We were in a federal building. We had to wire into this uh, control system uh, it, and it, it monitored the water. Uh, it was a water system. And um, the water system, let me explain it so that's understandable. Water circulated through a series of pipes and that's how they, they air conditioned the house using water. And it was really cool. But so the electrician came out. I'm like, wow, I'm, the electrician's going to be here. Because what is an electrician? He's an expert in electricity, right? Well, no, not really. That, that's, it's, it's a bit of a delusion. I mean, in some cases, yes. But uh, it's, a, it's a little bit uh, counterintuitive. But what they're really good at, most of them, are that if you need electrical RAN, they're going to do it professionally. It's going to be the right wire size. Is going to be encased in a conduit that protects the wiring from, you know, the sun or, or, or getting scrapes stepped on, damaged. It's, it's somebody getting electrocuted, things like that. So it's all done very professionally. So I'm asking this guy, you know, can you can you wire the sensors for this control system? And he says, he 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 answers everything with a question. Well, what size wire? You know, how many wires do I need to pull? What size conduit? You know, he's asking me what I want, and you know, I'm not the engineer. I'm a, I'm a 25 year old kid, 
So I go down, I look at the wiring diagram, and I see it, it's going to take three conductors, and we're going to need this this gauge wire because it goes all the way up to the roof. And you know, we're, we size all this stuff up. I give him the information. He goes, "Thanks." And basically, he had me wire it. So I realize that an HVAC technician, uh, and this is this is a really good this is a really good career path, is an expert on electricity on control circuitry. If you have if you ask an electrician to do all the heating and air in your house, they're going to be lost. But if you ask an HVAC technician to wire the house, he or she can do that. If you ask an electrician to do all the plumbing in the house, he or she can do that. Maybe they don't understand code; they have some learn. There's a learning curve. But as HVAC, you know have to solder, you have to braze, you know how to uh, weld, and so you you know how to pipe. You know how to use a pipe threader to run gas pipe, different types of gas pipe, the, the black pipe, and maybe there's there's different types of tubing and pipe. There's all kind of stuff, but the point is, if you take an HVAC technician and you get him to the level or her to the level of experience where they're out there and they can walk into a situation and they got it, it doesn't matter what your situation is, they can handle it, right? If times get tough, they're going to have electricity in their house. They're going to have water in their house. They go out and make a generator, for goodness sake, because they understand electricity. Solar panels, they can do this kind of stuff. It's really cool. My son one time, uh, he, he added something to his car. He was working on it. And he, he after about three days after he put that in his car, he lost his battery. So we check everything out. Uh, uh, and and we I think we put a new battery in there, and a, a day or so later, that one died. We we checked out. I can't remember if it was an alternator generator, but it wasn't recharging for some reason. We broke out the car manual. We're not auto mechanics, but we understand electricity. We trace all the circuitry. It took us a while. We traced through everything, go all the way back to a fuse, and the fuse was missing. My son had robbed one fuse and stuck it over. In, oh, they're not using this one, and he stuck it in here because everything appeared to work, but it wasn't. So it's a matter of sticking another fuse back in there. But the point is, how do we know how to do that? We're heating and air conditioning uh, technicians, right? That's what that's, that's what we that that's what we uh, uh, have based our, our understanding on. It just opens up the doors to so much more in life. So my point is this: What can you do in a, as a career that's better than HVAC? What can you do that pays better? You know, the, during this world of all these uh, pandemics and stuff like this, it's 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 considered a service that is essential. They call this essential services. In other words, it, it, jobs and co companies get shut down, but not this. It needs to be done, so it continues to go. It's it's a bit of job security. Now, here's the deal: the learning curve on this it takes a while, right? Uh, I just put my son in a course. He decided he's going to come into it. It takes about a year to complete online, but everything's in there. He's going through it. Everything's in there. And then you get on with a company and they'll, walk, they'll work with you, give you the experience. And before you know it, you're producing very well for the company that hired you, very well for yourself because the compensation programs are pretty darn nice. But here's the thing. You have to work. You have to work with your hands. You have to work with your body. You got to climb up in attics maybe or under a house or up on a rooftop. You know, if you're one of those people that can't stand to sit in the same place every day at work, looking at the same four walls, and you got to be out there. Imagine a job where every job is a new location. You get in your vehicle, which is fully equipped with all the tools and, 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 and all the support stuff that you need to go do an effective job. You drive over, you interact with, with people, and there you are and you're interacting with the machines, right? You, you take it from a situation where it's inoperable and you go through everything, and when you leave, it is operable. You fixed it. There's an instant satisfaction that comes with, I did that. Or if you're on the installation side, this is pretty cool too. We take all this stuff that's broken, messed up, we remove it, clean all that stuff out, and we put in a brand new heating and cooling system. Ventilation. Have you ever gone to a, a, a restaurant, or you go to pull on the door, and you hit a shh, there's like a suction or a positive pressure? That's ventilation. It's probably something wrong, but that's ventilation. You see, buildings have to move air. You have these big uh, uh, cooking areas and this big exhaust fan over the top sucking air out. 
Well, if you're sucking air out, you don't suck air back in, it, it'll make the door suck, won't it? Right? For example, so we have what's called makeup air. So uh, we have so much air coming out, we make sure we have that same air coming back in. So it creates a little loop, right? And so so, so the, 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 the building stays in the bounce. There's all this cool stuff, right? And uh, indoor air quality. Uh, all the stuff that's in the air, that's part of HVAC because we move that air. We can filter it. We can treat it. There's all this kind of cool stuff that we can do. Humidify, uh, humidification, where the air, you ever feel, you ever in the winter where your hands are dry or your feet are dry in the winter? That's a, that's a low humidity situation and there is an accessory that can be added that will alleviate that. There's all this cool stuff, guys. But the point is, this is not for you if you don't want to work. This is not for you if you'd rather sit down and be on the computer or things like this. It's, that, it's not for you. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. But it is for you if you're one of those people. You need a challenge. You need to grow. You need to be more. You need to move forward. You need to take every, every, every year you need to be going to the next level. It's a heck of a good business. It's a heck of a good role. HVAC technician. Maybe you'll start as a maintenance technician where you go out and you, and you perform the routine maintenance on, on existing HVAC systems, either residential, which means a home, or, or, or like commercial, which is you know the, the strip malls and all the little small businesses and things like that, or heavy commercial, industrial, where we use something called chillers. This is that water, water system I was talking about, or boilers, right? There's residential, but, but, but big water systems because they have to have these big buildings that they, that they uh, have to control the temperature on, the humidity on. Right, or sound levels. There's all this stuff that's in there. It's pretty overwhelming when you come into it. So you do a little at a time, but there's always room for growth. I never had a day go by where I didn't learn something. It just seemed like it was on and on. And it was always, on. I carried my book this thick, my, my basic heating and air conditioning book uh, in between my seats. And if I didn't understand something, I'd uh, like I'm, I'm, revi I'm on a system and I, gosh, how does a potential relay work again? I'd run out the truck, read it, you know, okay, you ohm here, and okay, and I go up there, and I can do it, right? You do that a time or two, next thing you know, it's here, right? It, it, and it'll never leave. So you'll know the difference between a potential relay and a current relay, for example. You'll know the difference between a heat pump and a straight air conditioning unit just by looking at it. You know the difference between a gas furnace and an oil furnace just by a glance, just or baller, just look, you know what it is. You just, you, you, and that's the beginning, and it'll continue to go. You can look at a duct system and go, that doesn't look right. It's pretty amazing to people who don't understand this, but if you really want to get into something that's good, that's got potential, that you can grow, you can get your hands dirty. And let, let, me, let me explain to you about getting your hands dirty. It's more of a dust dirt. So if, if, if you, like for example, I never really liked auto mechanics. I'd do it, especially on my own car, you know, but you come out, you got grease all up in your nails and, and everything. That's a greasy dirt. On heating and air conditioning, it's a dusty dirt. So it washes off, right? <laughs> it's, it's not that big of a deal, you know? I mean, if, if that's your thing, if you don't like that. And so, uh, but the point is, it is work. It will keep you in shape. You got to move around. You got to go to this job, go to that job. And it's not for everybody. But if you're a person that wants a challenge, if you need to become more, if you need to grow, and you would like to be in a position one day, if the world goes to hell in a handbasket, you will survive because you have these skills that you can utilize. HVAC is a pretty broad uh, set of uh, skill sets. Right, so there, there, there's just so many things that you have to understand. Electricity, the refrigerant cycle, that's that's crazy in of itself. How does that work? What does a compressor do? What does it compress? And after it compresses it, what happens then, right? What is an evaporator? What is a condenser? What is an accumulator? What is a receiver? What is a muffler? All these different components are in there. What do they do? You know, and it's not that hard. Once you go through it, especially if you get in refrigeration, HVAC, R, which is really fun. It's much slower work because you know I used to do. I had 17 grocery stores one time I took care of. They were my accounts because I, I decided to start my own business one day, and maybe that's you one day. But realistically, this is one of those things that if you want to start your business one day, you better be willing to dedicate and give back to the person who gives you the uh, the opportunity to work in it. Give them their years, right? Uh, everybody wins. You win. You, you continue to gain experience. You've got good supervision and guidance, right? 
and you've got the stability of a company and maybe maybe you know maybe 8 10 years down the road you decide you know it's time for me to go on my own you know and and, and that may be you but a lot of people just they they're, they're kind of like independent contractors working for a contractor that's the way they perceive it you know i'm in an arrangement with this employer i have my skill set i'm continuing to learn um, I make him money, he makes me money, and it's not, it's not just an hourly job for most HVAC companies today, which is really cool. You have all of these opportunities to earn additional revenues. Now, a smart company is going to incentivize you based on the right thing to do, what's right for that customer in their home or their, their, or their small business or, or their big business. What's best for them, you just deliver the services and make it happen. And it's a pretty cool thing, especially, I remember this, 20, 22 years old, I guess I was, 22 years old. I, uh, another company had gone out there, they couldn't figure out what the problem was. One of the guys from my company, an older guy, well into his 50s went out there, he, did, he couldn't catch it either. I went out there, I, I went out there with that attitude, took the whole thing apart, I found the problem, fixed it, put it all back together, and I literally got in trouble for fixing it too fast because the owner of the business that owned that heating and air conditioning equipment was so mad that these, the, these men couldn't couldn't figure it out and this boy at 22 23 years old whatever I was fixed it first time why because I was there you know you, you got to be into this kind of stuff if that's who you are you know understand electricity and all those wires and pulling everything out and, and rewiring everything I don't need a diagram although it's better I don't need to know the red wire hooks to the terminal number two and the green wire hooks to terminal number six or no no, it's, it's, it's understanding schematics and diagrams and, and, and electrical components and how they work. You can literally wire your own house or your own control system, right? And if you start getting into solid state, it even goes deeper. So there's a lot of different stuff that you can benefit from from this industry. Why the long video? It's just an encouragement. Maybe this is right for you. My name is Pete Ramsey. I own a business called HVAC Greatness in which I teach HVAC companies to be more than just mechanics and technicians, but actual successful businesses. And if that's you, you know, uh, go ahead and jump on in on, on, on some of the future information. If this is not for you, you know, you heard me out, I appreciate that. You know, go find something that you're gonna love doing one day. But if you like, at the end of the day, to look back at what you did and take pride, I did that. I did that. Take a picture of your work before you leave. If that's who you are, maybe you ought to consider HVAC, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and possibly refrigeration. Pete Ramsey here, HVAC Greatness. You guys be careful out there. Just a word of encouragement. We'll talk to you on the next one. I am out.